people are looking for offshore wind to provide that clean, reliable power supply in the future, and the future is now. There's so many exciting aspects about the offshore wind industry in the U.S. I am excited for the future of offshore wind. We need energy from all sources. It's not that offshore wind is going to replace everything. It's going to be a part of what's going to be the future. To be able to deploy successfully 30 gigawatts of offshore wind by 2030, three things need to happen. Number one is we need to have the right technology. And number two, we need the right business model. And number three, we need the right policy and regulations in place. One of the biggest challenges is the coordination among stakeholders. The federal government, which is responsible for permits and leasing and everything on federal waters. We have the local ISOs, the utilities, that they are heavily engaged on the grid. We have the developer, the suppliers like ourselves. Sometimes we have seen a challenge on the lack of coordination, which now has improved a lot, and we should remain adamant on continuing supporting that constructive dialogue. In the big picture, federal, local, and state policies really drive what we do for energy development here in the U.S. And in particular for offshore wind, it's really critical right now. Policies around climate change and what we're going to do to address those challenges are really driving the demand for offshore wind. On the business model, where I see a biggest risk and challenge is on the supply chain. This is a new market in the US, but there's still a limited supply chain. So here, it will require a little bit of time in terms of manufacturing, in terms of engineering for that supply chain to grow in the US. The other challenge that I see is making sure that the grid infrastructure especially is ready to receive all this offshore wind. This is coming into the conversations a lot more. It's absolutely needed. I'm glad we can help participate in overcoming some of those challenges. We are bringing new generation into an existing and aging grid. We are transitioning from a fossil fuel generation base to a renewable generation base. And all that is impacting the grid. Everyone likes to think about the offshore wind turbines and that technology being the linchpin of the whole system. But in reality, these projects have got to get interconnected onshore. We can generate all the wind we want offshore, but without the transmission capabilities, it's useless. Nobody can turn on a light switch. Transmission is critical because it interconnects that power supply to the demand onshore. Without transmission, there's no point in building the offshore wind generation, and it's really critical that we get that right. But I see that a lot of good things are happening now in a much faster pace. I am confident that we can achieve the 30 gigawatts by 2030 if we continue to work in a collaborative way.